Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be showcasing the new Journey Halloween Update Part 2. Due to some technical issues we are going to be using text-to-speech today, double frowny face. First we're going to be showcasing the Wicked Bundle starting off with Glinda the Good Witch. The Wicked Bundle is 800 Robux and has two characters including Elphabut and Glinda. Let's just start off by saying thank you to New Journey by adding Ariana Grande as a overpriced character. Alright, let's start with her flight. When flying she activates a shield with a total health of 150. Once broken she can be picked up by a hag. Gracie. Bitch. Now we will showcase her X ability. This will release a burst of energy in the direction of where your mouse is looking slash clicking and has a total cooldown of 20 seconds. We will now show that again. The next key bind is C aka the magical floor. This will start a black hole where your mouse is clicking and hold them for seconds and then eventually releasing them with an energy burst. It does a lot of damage to the target. Yeah, the, knockback damage the next key bind is our aka magical chains. This will chain up everybody around you while taking their health and magic and giving it to you. If you already have full stats it will not give you anything. The next key bind is her ultimate G. This ultimate will transform you into your other variant and transforming you into the cute princess you are. It has a long animation but trust me it's worth it. At the end it will activate your flight automatically which means you can't get snatched. Like bitch you cannot tell me that that is a not cute outfit. New Journey developers ate that up. Now we're gonna be showcasing the Z key bind. Once activated releases multiple balls of energy around you and once charged up releases the energy. While knocking people back as well. Here is her E key bind energy bolt. Oh, when yeah, pressed releases a bolt of energy where cursor is and can also be moved while in air while dragging cursor. Here is the F key bind murky force. This ability releases energy into the direction where your mouse is clicking and knocks back all targets. Next key bind is T aka magical matter. This ability picks up everybody around you and drains their health while spinning in air. At the end of the ability it activates your flight slash shield where you can easily get down in combo with another move. That is the end of the first wicked bundle character now we will move on to the next character. This is the next character in the wicked bundle aka Alphaba the wicked witch of the west. Alphaba is a skin for Madeline which has the same move set just with different particles just like. Glinda the Good Witch. The first move is her flight. Her flight is on a broom just like the Sanderson sisters and can do one move while on it which is telekinesis. The Sanderson sisters and her have the fastest flight in the game. The first key bind is her scythe. When summoning the scythe everybody around here will be chained up and vulnerable while taking damage as well. Her scythe has two different modes regular clicking mode and a hold down. When hold it down long enough it will do a long and big burst of energy doing a lot of damage to the targets around. Just regular clicking will do a slice. Next is her portal. When she clicks the key she will summon a portal to her dimension where everything is green and everything is in her control. Anybody can go in the portal while opened and the dimension changes depending on which skin the one Madeline slot is playing. To go back to the regular world simply click the key again. Remember you can come back here using your ultimate Oswell. Like Next key bind is her shield. When activated her shield has 350 health and can be used while flying as well. 
Depending on the ability upgrades you have will determine how powerful your shield is. If you have all three when your regular shield breaks you will activate an auto shield for 5 to 10 seconds as it takes your health over time it has 250 shield power. Once activated on a person it will summon three demons to come and bring them to your dimension. If the target is under 50% health they will get insta-killed. Target must be under 50% for it to work. Next key blind is C aka charged beam. Press and hold the key bind until full and then release. When released it will have a mega beam that does massive amounts of damage while also That's giving little there. bursts of damage to people nearby. If skipped and not charged it will be a weak beam that doesn't do much. Next key is telekinesis which is self-explanatory. Next we have her ultimate. When pressed will summon everybody around you into your dimension and you will have 60 seconds to kill them while having bluffed stats. If you kill them you will get a buff for 60 seconds and if you fail to kill them they will get a buff. Now we have my favorite move. Wherever your cursor is will throw everybody on the ground and damage them with a magic bolt on top. Does massive damage. Here is her magic bolt wherever your cursor is will shoot a bolt. The last two moves had buggy videos so we're just skipping them. Now we will be showcasing Peter Pan the Human Torch skin. He is being sold as a Halloween exclusive skin for 100k coins. Let's start off with his flight. It's giving Peter Pan vibes. His first move is his shield. It has a total health of 400 and he can slowly walk while using it. Next we got his DP copy meteors. He sends out multiple firing bolts that affect people that are near them when they land. His next key bind is his beam. Simply click C to control a light beam that damages anybody it hits. Next we got his choke. Press the key bind and it will choke the target and eventually knock them back dealing heavy damage and if low enough can kill. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, like... Next we have his ultimate key bind. Once pressed will summon a giant ball of light the longer you wait before clicking the bigger and more powerful it gets. At its highest point does intense damage and breaking all shields. Next we have his tornado. When pressed will create a tornado of light around everybody and you can hold for as long as you want. If you have a Christmas Emma around she can also use her move to intensify the fire and make it more powerful. Next we have his light bolt. Self-explanatory. Next we have his energy outburst that releases energy and knockbacks anyone around. After that we have his three bolts. Click the key bind to summon three bolts and click where you want to put them. The person you click will send one bolt to go and damage them and knock them back multiple times. Alright that's gonna wrap up this video. Thank you guys for watching this video took so long to edit it's not even funny. More new journey content on the Halloween update coming soon. Be sure to join my Discord server link in description as we have staff openings right now. Have a good day bye y'all.